Thank you. Welcome. Hey. Man, I, it, oof, oof. I almost didn't go live. This is so crazy. This is so crazy. It's so powerful. This is a 100 milligram microdose, and it's, it hit me like... It hit me. It hit me like a train. That niacin. This is my first time taking the niacin combination with the microdose, and um, and I understand uh, that people supplement with niacin. Um, say it opens up the pathways. Um, they they associate the niacin flush with detoxification. Niacin is a common ingredient in many fitness supplements. If you've taken a, a, a pre-workout and felt the niacin flush or that that flush um it's coming from that vitamin b3 and for many years um people have suggested the stamets stack to me and said oh well paul stamets always said you know uh this is this is a long time like five years like uh, Paul Stamets talked about mixing lion's mane with niacin and a microdose of psilocybin and he talked about how um the niacin opens up access to the blood brain barrier and brings the psilocybin and lion's mane into the brain um i guess a lot more um productively and uh, i'm experiencing it right now for the first time and it it hit me like as soon as um well what i did was i took a capsule of this right here and i took it with a dose of she legit and <clears throat> And it hit me in like 10 minutes. Um, it felt like it took a lot more than what was in that capsule. In those capsules, there's only 100 milligrams of a microdose. And um, basically, it felt like a lot more. Like, I started getting really aware of my breathing. I started to feel this flush. But as you know, that flush is accompanied by some lion's mane and some psilocybin. So, like, there's just hyper awareness, hypersensitivity right now. Um, and it was just really powerful and I had to stop and do some breath work before we start, before we went live right now. It was crazy, but, um, mm. but I'm testing this product because this is one of the most highly requested products, um, that I haven't taken action on because I always had this stance that I don't do isolated nutrition. Like I'm, I've always been like, well, ugh, I don't, I don't do um, isolated nutrition. I'll do plant powders, and I do. I've done a lot of things. I've sold a lot of things, and and I've always justified this. This has always been my justification. Like, well, if it helps people, then it's worth a try. See, that, that's even gotten me to entertain, like, things like animal products again, because I'm like, well, I didn't know, because I didn't have all the information. I didn't know that certain animal products could be healing for people. I know, I know, like, we're cruel to animals. I know we want to lower animal cruelty, right? But, I mean, I'm also pro-human, so if something can help my brothers and sisters heal, like, what the hell? Like, uh, yeah, we can, I, I, be, I believe, I'm, I'm okay with you using animal products so that we can heal. Like, it's not like... It's not the same thing as corporate farming, all right? It's vastly different. This this symbiotic relationship they have with animals. It, there there's something there to be to be gleaned from that, all right? And to be learned from that. This relationship with nature. It's not just, "Oh, I don't touch animal products. Oh, save the animals." Like there's a, there's a whole lot more there. But I've been uh I've been resistant to like just adding niacin powder to a mix. I don't know why. Now that I'm experiencing it, because um, what I'm feeling is a much more instantaneous activation um, results. Um, uh, Paul Stamets did say that um, it it the niacin opens up the blood brain barrier, so you have to be careful with what you're intaking at the time that you take this stuff, right? Because presumably, whatever I take with the niacin is going to get into my brain. All right, that's that's the basic tenet, right? So that's going to dictate probably what I eat for the rest of the day now. Now that I know, well, shoot, this this ingredient allowed the psilocybin and the lion's mane to go straight into my brain and start activating. And, and the she legit, I also took a dose of um, our she legit resin. And now my eyes are open. I'm like, okay, so that's what that does. 
that's what that does. That's what niacin does. All right. Um, for me, uh, an instant targeting of the product. Like I've been taking it for my brain. Now I feel like it's like in my brain. Um, but maybe that's just because of what I read about it. You read something about blood brain barrier and then you take something and, um, well, I think we got the dosage right too. Can't discount this stuff, man. This ain't no placebo effect. This ain't no placebo effect, all right? This is like the real formula. This is like the real formula. It's not the placebo effect. The real stuff. <coughs> uh, this guy named Tony Scazzaro <coughs> of drinkyourownwater.com. Let's check drinkyourownwater.com. Let me see here. Oh, can't reach this page. Drinkyourownwater.com. Oh, seems like it's not active. All right. But yeah, so the P, the if you're interested in that niacin mix that I was talking about that I'm actually testing right now, um, you can find P.S. I Love You on our main menu at the bottom. Hit the link in the bio. All right, it's called P.S. I Love You. This is the Stamets stack. This is what I recommend. Um, I do recommend stacking it with the Shilajit resin. That's what I did, and I'm on that and Yerba Mate today. I feel great. Um, it did make me want to stop, like, doom scrolling. Like, I, that, that, I'm sorry, but that's what I would be doing in the morning. And, and as soon as the microdose kicked in, I was like, oh, shoot, put the phone down, go ground, hit the breath work. It's a beautiful thing. That's anything that makes you want to put your phone down is medicine, man. Anything that makes you want to put your phone down is medicine, man. Um, I need some more Alpha GT too. Ooh, that's what's up. Um, yes, let's get that out to you. Um, and and I I have an interesting thing to give away today. Um, a little bit different on our giveaway today. It's going to be a one hundred dollar gift card. No minimum. You can just get some free shit. $100 gift card to give away today. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so that's what I'm testing. And I'm, and I'm also sending out for beta testing our other product. Our other product. We have another new product. <sighs> it's called the Hippie Flip. <sighs> now, I didn't test this one yet. I'm not ready for it. You might, you might not even be ready for it. The Hippie Flip is 300 milligrams, or between 250 and 300 milligrams psilocybin, and 50 milligrams of MDMA. All right? Now, presumably what the MDMA is going to do is eliminate bad trips. It's just going to be a good time. All right, so a lot of people have uh, bad trips when they take higher doses of psilocybin, maybe bouts of negativity. Uh, we call that detox over here. We understand that. That that's there, There's nothing that can come out of you that wasn't in you. There's nothing that can come out of you that wasn't in you. You was harboring that toxicity. There's a reason why you feeling it on the mushroom trip. See, somebody tried to hit me with, I got mushroom poisoning. You know what I, you know what my protocol is when somebody tells me, hey, I got mushroom poisoning. It's a mushroom poisoning or any of my products. You tell me, oh, it's talking. You know what I do? I wait till the next morning. I wait till the next morning and I don't even respond. I'm like, <sighs> so I wait till the next morning. I say, hey, you know what? Please describe the mushroom poisoning experienced for me because I serve that product to hundreds of people all the time and none of them reported anything. So if, if the whole batch was poisoned, if the, if the batch of mushrooms was bad, I'd be getting hundreds of complaints. All right. So I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to gaslight you. I'm just, I'm just saying, can you describe the experience? Man, my heart was beating so fast. I felt like I drank five cups of coffee and I couldn't sleep. And I'm waiting until he gets to the part where he does his breath work. And I'm like, what about the breath work? No, no breath work? Nope. Okay. All right. So your first, 
your first go-to when you're having a bad trip. My heart's beating. Oh my God, my heart's beating. Everybody's the same thing. My heart's beating. Like, control your heart rate. Breathe slower. People st- seem to forget that their heart rate rate is 100% under their control. So, once you get over that, okay, so your first go-to on a bad trip is, it was poison. I got sold a bag of poison. That's where I get offended because you don't seem to understand what I'm doing here. Like, I'm not here to poison people. Like, the shit that you got went through my body first. Ain't no, don't go blaming the medicine when you got some shit in your body that needs to get detoxed. And by the way, an elevated heart rate is a sign of toxins in the blood. It's very normal. It's very normal when detoxing, microdosing, doing psychedelics, that sometimes they loosen up toxins in the blood. All right, elevated heart rate is helping you get rid of toxins. It feels shitty. I got to give that disclaimer because a lot of people, there's a lot of people that buy from me that don't watch my videos. Can you understand that? Like, that's frustrating to me that I I can't stop that. I need that. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. I, I need that. But, but I wish that everybody that bought from me listened to my videos so they could understand where we're at with this. This is for work. I mean... It's going to be a good time, but I'm saying there's a reason why you have those negative experiences. Now, what has been clinically proven and shown is that a low dose of MDMA, 50 milligram, that's how much is in here, has been shown to mitigate or eliminate those bouts of negativity and replace them with feelings of self-compassion. This is clinically shown now and this has been shown with both lsd trips and mushroom trips so now you have a capsule that you can take along with your mushroom trip this is 50 milligrams molly 200 to 300 milligrams mushroom as much as i could get in the capsule it's mushroom powder mushroom dent powder densities vary widely Now you can take this along with your mushroom tea. And this is going to boost what it is that you're the work you're trying to do. I mean, most of us are trying to do work such as softening the parts of us that have been hardened through years of trauma, starting from childhood, connecting to the inner child. I promise you this product is going to help you with that work. I know you think that the work you have to do has to do with bench pressing and get in a deadlift 2.5 times my body weight and get into a 8 minute mile time. I know the work you think you have to do, you think is physical, but I promise you, a lot of the behaviors that we and, and patterns that we have have to are rooted in child trauma, especially if they're unhealthy patterns. If they're unhealthy, unproductive, self-destructive patterns, they are rooted in childhood trauma. I'm trying to help you with that work. You can look at what I'm doing and say, oh, I'm a capitalist. You can look at what I'm doing and say, oh, I'm trapping. There's a lot of things you could look at this, but but the people who come and watch the videos understand that, that what I'm doing is I'm, I'm getting mine in before I die. I'm getting mine in for earth, man. Hmm, yeah, yeah, fuck it. That's a soul mission right there. It's called a soul mission. I'm getting my swings in, my licks in before I get taken out. I don't give a fuck. I don't know when I'm going to go. But I promise you, I'm going to drop some shit before I bounce. I'm going to drop some formulas. I'm going to drop some products. I'm going to change some some stuff before I dip, okay? So this is what this product is, all right? So the hippie flip... (laughs) The hippie flip is uh, at the crystal shop, man. That's the hippie flip, man. You can find that at the crystal shop menu at the bottom. And it's not included in any sales, man. It's not included in any discount codes. But I am going to give away a $100 gift card today, all right? See, now I trust you're going you're gonna to do me solid on that. I trust. You I mean, do you. you? Do you? Do you? I'm not going to... This is no... No... Hey. Hey. No strings attached. No strings attached. I'm not going to try to put guilt trip you into spending money with me, okay? But it is $100 flat out. Flat out. Flat out gift card. No minimum. You can just go ahead and cash in on something if you want to do that, too. Yeah, I appreciate y'all, man. 
Uh, I'll be honest with you. We're busy as fuck. We got about 50 boxes going out the window today. We we ready to ship. Let me show you what we talk. What, well, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about, man. Look, this is what's going out today. This is what's going out today, man. Let me show you. This is today's. This is today's batch, baby. I appreciate the support, but look what's going out today, man. Look, you think that this ain't no, this ain't no nothing. Look at what's going out today. Look, this is all bought. These are all purchases. Look, I appreciate it. I'm going to stop sitting here. I'm going to stop sitting here and asking you for anything, man. Y'all already, look it. Y'all have, uh, y'all have answered my call. I asked you to support me. I did. You did. Look at you. This all y'all, man. I don't even need no more help. Y'all just chill. Chill. Everybody chill. Everybody relax. Stop placing orders. Stop it. Because that is a whole day's work right there. That is a whole day's work. Just one day. But you know I work 24-7. This micro dose that I took about... 30 minutes ago is really smacking right now. I feel my, my, I feel the niacin flush. I'm feeling the niacin flush accompanied by the psilocybin and lion's mane. It's in my brain. Lion's mane in my brain. Holy man, I can't maintain. Lion's mane in my brain. Now I think I'm going insane. Hey, whew. Whoa, I feel fucking. I, the flush is setting in right now. Right now. Right now. Uh. I'm feeling it. Mmm. Yeah, it's my face burn. You could hit the link in my bio. It could be your turn. Uh, it's called P.S. I love you. When I start rapping, I don't put nothing above you. Ooh, yeah. Now I'm feeling ill. Oh, it's time to go in for the kill. It's easy, man. Now I'm filled with the lyrics. You know that I got that energy. I'm filled with spirit. Oh, yeah. You know that I'm feeling that face burn. Hit the link in my bio. It could be your turn. I could put the capsules in the mail and hit you in the quickly, man. It's gonna hightail. USPS, US mail. I swear, where will I be without you? Nowhere. Going slow like a snail. But it's okay, cause we okay. US mail. PS, 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 I love you. When I start rapping, I put nothing above you. Uh, it's okay, cause when push comes to shove, I'ma do it, man. I'ma rise up above. Look. It's time to try it, man. Every time I mix the psilocybin with the niacin, uh, and I mix it with the lion's man. Oh, and now I'm going on a diet, man. Ooh, yeah, got me feeling that good. Doing everything I think I should. Ooh, wow, I feel the face burn. You can hit the link in my bio, it could be your turn. Uh, yeah, thank you for the sales. Thank you for the financial health. I'm doing well, but now it's time to go back to the gym because i be fucking gaining weight and i'm not feeling like him but it's okay because you know i'ma get back every time i fall off you know i get back right back on track every time you know i'ma get back every time i fall off you know i get right back on track Ooh, yeah and i'm real good at it because every time i motherfucking fall i do a backflip and get back up and keep on going because you know i just keep flowing with the motion of the ocean Ooh. Man, I really feel that face burn. You should hit the link in my bio and yo, it could be your turn. And I could put the capsules in the mail and you could be doing real well. No more moving all slow like a snail. No more not feeling well. It's time to focus on your health. Cause yo, you know, it's time to ring the fucking bell myself. Cause you know that I gotta work on my health and I just keep it going. You know how I do it, man. I GZ keep it flowing. Man, for real though, I feel that niacin flush and I feel activated, man. Active, you know how it is, man. Energetic backflip. Woo. Active, you know how it is, man. Energetic backflip. Sometimes I gotta go and get my ego's ass kicked just so I can learn how to do some better tactics. Ooh, how to use some better tactics. Ooh, yeah, man, I'm talking action. Ooh, yeah. Paul Stamets, you know that I got the microdose and now I'm feeling like I'm on another planet. Planet, I got all these raps, I hope that you can stand it. Whew. All right. So what I got for you today is this book called The End of Z by Tony Scazzaro. I hate it when someone comes in my office when you're dropping the beats. <laughs> well, well, it's time to go to school. So uh, 
I hope you guys enjoyed that. Welcome to Chapter 2 of The End of Disease by Tony Scazzaro. <sighs> when people get sick, they trust the medical establishment to restore their health. However, the present system of prescription medication and surgery has not always been effective. Thousands of people die every year from the side effects of improperly prescribed medications and failed medical treatments. Emergency room errors have led to serious complications from medication overdoses, wrong diagnostic testing, and infections due to unsanitary conditions. The possibility of these and other kinds of injuries has led many to look for alternative methods to cure their illnesses. And I just want to say first, I'm feeling that nice and flush. It literally feels like I'm in a hot tub. Now, a lot of people start to panic at this point. But honestly, if you really focus on it, it feels like you're in a hot tub. And for me, that feels good. It literally feels like I'm in a hot tub right now. That niacin flush, 100 milligrams per capsule. But this niacin, because people supplement niacin because they associate that flush with opening up of the pores and pathways and detoxification. And there is some research to support that that's true, right? So, um, but this niacin is accompanied with psilocybin and lion's mane so i'm feeling so active in a way so i not only does my skin i feel like i'm in a hot tub but i feel supremely active like all the chakras are firing like everything is like on point you know what it is because it's psilocybin now people who aren't ex uh expecting it would associate that nice and flush with a panic attack and they're oh my god and they'll be panicking and, and that would actually fire off um, the wrong nervous system and once you're in fight or flight now now it's now all the other symptoms who knows what can happen when you put yourself in fight or flight but this this probably there may be some reddening of the skin but like i said i feel like i'm in a hot tub and i feel good and i feel so aware and active that i'm going to continue reading this book for you but i just want to know I'm, I'm i'm like glowing and there's like a burn but i'm also like very energetically there for you here i'm there for you there is natural alternative medicine that is freely available this panacea has been empirically proven to be tremendously effective in dealing with all kinds of diseases however it is not glorified by the media or the medical community since the beginning of time nature has provided a safe painless solution to every seemingly incurable disease it may not be what most people imagine, and an initial skepticism, distaste, and even shock are among the first responses. In fact, no matter how strong the disbelief, most are astounded what they don't know about the history, effectiveness, and ingredients of this almost completely unrecognized natural medicine. So what is this extraordinary mystery medicine that has been around since ancient times and yet remains hidden behind a cloak of secrecy? It is none other than human urine. Urine is made in and by our kidneys in a system so complex that researchers still can't figure it out. The principal function of the kidney is not excretion, but regulation. A diagram of the urinary tract clearly shows that it is not connected to the intestines or the stomach. When the blood enters the kidneys, it is filtered hundreds of times a day through an immensely complex and intricate system of minute tubules called nephrons. Here, the blood is literally filtered and cleansed at high pressure. In one way or the other, when the body is sick, it stimulates the kidneys to make the curative remedy. But I just want to stop. You know what I do. I stop. I like to stop. Where are the kidneys located? It's so funny that the kidneys filter through high pressure processing because they 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 happen to be located at the center of where you can create pressure in your body. Isn't that funny how I'm I'm flexing it right now? Your lower abs in that area, that area, that central area where the kidneys are, that happens to be the same area as your abs, your low abs, your pelvic floor. Your ability to create pressure both with air, without air, and intra-pressure by using suction has everything to do with how clean the water gets. If, you, if, the, kidneys, if the kidneys do in fact filter through high-pressure processing, does the pressure you create 
have any th effect on that. You have to ask, like, okay, so, okay, so, all right, so the kidneys filter through pressure, right? High pressure processing. Okay, could the presence or lack thereof of air pressure during every breath that I take affect the cleanliness and quality of what gets created? How about this? Could this affect my ability to extract the highest quality of what I could extract? Could the ability to increase and decrease pressure both unconsciously and at will help me extract and excrete? Sorry to use the term excrete. Let's, let's just stick to extract more water from the body. See, if we, if we knew how to use the mechanics of the body to pull more water, would we need to even eat as much as we think we need to eat? And that's, and, and that's a hypothesis to say, okay, could our breathing patterns and modulating the, the pressure with every breath, or at least in sessions, could modulating the air pressure, being more conscious of the pressure, lead to a higher efficiency of extraction of the resources in our body, thus needing less to extract from external sources? Could breath work and the knowledge and mechanics of breath work be the linchpin that separates why some people can be more successful transitioning to higher energy, lower density frames of existence and sustenance? And why some people tend to not be able to be so successful? You want me to whittle that down for you? Could knowledge of breath work be why some people are successful and some people aren't? Could knowledge of breathwork and the mechanics of breathwork give an aspiring plant-based person more of a higher chance of success? The, the truth is, the, the simple truth is, we are air-based. Once you understand that we are air-based, you can choose what you want to subsist on. When, once you understand that we're based on air and you make that our main thing, all right, because once again, air pressure is how we filter the water that we then re-ingest. Once you get to the fucking air pressure and water system, where the fuck, where the fuck in that is uh, vitamins A through K nutrition? What the fuck are you talking about? We just, we just solve the the question of how to keep the human vessel moving. It's through proper air pressure, proper breath work, and then looping the water. Where in that do you need nutrition? Nutrition is a choice now that we're talking about air pressure and water recycling. Now that we're talking about the hydrologic cycle of Earth and properly filtering through proper creation and dissipation of air pressure with every breath because the kidneys are not excreting, they are regulating. See, this is, this is immortality mechanics, but then we're all just at different levels of food addiction, so we can't just go straight to it. We have to take millennia to get there. That's literally what we're talking about. The, okay, the knowledge of the hydrologic cycle and breath work is literally how the, the ancients didn't need to worry about getting enough protein. Can I put it any more simple for you? Can we, can I simplify any more? I done simplified, you done simplified, simplified to the square root, divide, simplify, divide. This is what I do with the ancient knowledge, all right? I fucking simplify, you know, in algebra, you simplify less and less and less until it's just one plus one equals two. It just went down. We whittled it all the way down to one plus one equals two. Knowledge of the breath mechanics and the hydrologic cycle solves immortality. But we at different levels of food addiction, aren't we? We're about a million years in this addiction now. But at least we can look at where we came from. That's all I'm asking. I'm not asking you to become a breatharian right now. I'm just, I'm just asking you to look where we came from, bro. We had this whole system that took care of nutrition inside of us, built into us. And now we're totally dependent on a new system of nutrition outside of us. But the system outside of us just mimics what's going on in our bodies. Can you, is the fucking mind blowing yet? 
There is a whole system based on raping the earth that we call the farming agricultural system. This whole system is just mimicking something that's already going on in your organs. High pressure processing is happening in your kidneys. Distillation happening in your lungs. It's all going on in your body. It's all built in. Vaccination system. That's the hydrologic cycle is built in. And we are dependent on this supposed new and improved external system that made it possible for all of this population to exist. No, it didn't. The thing that made it possible for all of these humans to exist is our innate bodies. This is what made it possible for this population to grow this much. This, this. It all happened because of this tech. All that system outside there is just mimicking what's going on in your organs. Here the blood is literally filtered and cleansed at high pressure. So I'm in the third paragraph here. In one way or the other, when the body is sick, it stimulates the kidneys to make the curative remedy. This antidote could be an antibody if there is an internal infection or an antiseptic if there is an external wound. Did you just hear that? So look, let's break it down. In one way or the other, when you're sick, your body makes pee, which is your medicine. The medicine could be an antibody if this is an internal infection or an antiseptic if there's an external wound. As soon as I fall and I scrape the ground, my body puts antiseptic in my pee to clean the wound. When the urine is reintroduced to the body, the body's immune system is greatly enhanced. This has been found out in labs and on battlefields. The, the, this information on urine has been proven in ways that all of the pharmaceuticals that we take have never been. These truths have been found on battlefields, man. It contains thousands of compounds that are specific to the body and are tailored to keep the body from getting out of balance. Scientists have discovered that the urine, because it is actually extracted from our blood, contains small amounts of almost all of the life-sustaining nutrients, proteins, hormones, antibodies, and immunizing agents that the blood has. So, if scientists have discovered this, why, why, is, why are they still going into the news and laughing at all oh, urine therapists. When scientists have discovered that it is ex extracted from our blood and it contains almost all life-sustaining nutrients, proteins, hormones, antibodies, immunizing agents, and, and that the blood has. Why? Why? Why are we letting that go? Why are you not mad that, like, this has been clinically proven? It, like, like, they found like, at least seven cancer-curing agents in urine clinically they they've 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 found this by healing cancer and shrinking tumors and you go to the news and they're laughing at urine therapists why are we letting this go the fact that we found the cure for cancer and they 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 these puppets in the media the, the these pharma funded puppets Still want to laugh at urine therapy. I tell you why, man. It's because everybody just need to turn off the TV because they never going. It's never going to happen. <laughs> you know how long we've been trumpeting this urine therapy thing? The whole time. <laughs> Name a timeline. Because that's how long urine therapy has been in the background, man. It's even in the Bible. Jesus has been talking about your. Jesus got crucified talking urine therapy, man. That's how long. At least that long. Look. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm not playing. Jesus died on the cross talking this urine therapy shit. We not playing the holy water. What do you think he was doing with the holy water? Healing the blind, deaf, and dumb. This has been getting... This battle has been going on since at least Jesus. If not before. Look into the Bhagavad Gita. 
there's a whole book in it. Imagine the fucking wars that happened in India over the modernization period of people who were fucking taking that shit literal. The Bhagavad Gita has a whole book on urine therapy. Look it up. It's directly about urine therapy rather than coded urine therapy, which is what the Bible is, right? It's coded, but they all, Arab, this, this battle, this urine therapy talk, man, mm. See, now people just lie with it. Before, they had to write books, had to had to write it into the Bible, had to do prayers, had to spread, open a red sea. Now, just opening the red light. Moses had to split the red sea. Now, we just turn on the red light and go live with the mushroom hat. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's been going on since at least Jesus, man. This battle, long, oh, oh, oh. Let's continue. Let's continue, all right? We're continuing. How could urine be healthy, let alone help cure illness? Modern research and clinical studies have proven that the thousands of clinical body chemicals and nutrients that end up in urine reflect the body functions. When reutilized, they act as natural vaccines, antibacterial, antiviral, anti-cancer agents, hormone balancers, and even allergy relievers. So it is easily accessible. It gives a whole new meaning to the term free health care. In fact, there is no need to visit a doctor for a diagnosis or a store to buy any products. To its adherence, it has become the ultimate survival tool. Not only does it cleanse the body, but it revitalizes the spirit. It is a liquid of vital element to support, strengthen, and regenerate life. To many, this is totally incomprehensible because it is so unorthodox. But to others who have tried everything and have nothing to lose, it has been the best kept medical secret. Most people are astonished when they learn about it and are even more incredulous they haven't previously heard about it. Many are afraid to try urine therapy because it is not recommended by their physicians. Many doctors and medical practitioners say they have not heard of it and if they have, they say it has not been proven effective. But the truth is that urine therapy is far safer and effective than prescription drugs and it has no side effects. Urine is the most complex of all body fluids because it can control and regulate every, body fu every function of the body. Modern research and clinical studies have proven that thousands of cr critical body chemicals and nutrients end up in our urine. Subsequently, when urine is used medicinally, the correct concentration antibody is produced to respond to that individual's health threat. Most medical professionals, most medical professionals agree that the degenerative disease like cancer, heart disease, and arthritis set in due to the accumulation of toxins in the body. Various methods are suggested for removing those toxins, but there is no greater harmless detoxifying agent in the world than urine. It not only purifies the system, but regenerates and builds up old, worn out, and even dead tissues. The minerals and enzymes that are passed out in the urine can be easily assimilated to help in the process of tissue building and to fight disease. Despite the many incredible discoveries medical science has made during the 20th century, millions are still suffering or even crippled by illnesses today. The medical profession has dominated society to such an extent that urine therapy is almost unknown. Natural urine therapy has fallen into obscurity or totally forgotten. Not only has all the medical community conditioned us to believe that drugs and surgery are all that are needed to restore lost health, but they have ignored the research on the efficacy of urine therapy. The extensive medical research on this natural remedy has not been disseminated to the general public. Yet every year, thousands of operations performed and millions of prescription drugs dispersed are proof that modern physicians cannot cure disease but only control it at best. Pause. You know, the more books we read, the the more the perfect picture gets painted. That, you know, it was not so long ago that urine therapy was normal as fuck. It was normal. Like, this is, this is not um, some hippie weirdo shit. That is the level to which we have been brainwashed. It's a, it, I'm, I'm flipping the, turning the tables on you. And when I say this statement, bro, I, I'm, I'm speaking truth. The degree to which you think your urine is disgusting is the degree to which you have been brainwashed because it is literally the farthest thing from toxic. 
Literally, it's medicinal. So when I say that the degree to which you're disgusted by your urine is the degree to which you have been brainwashed. I'm not just talking about you. I'm talking about myself. I'm talking about all of us. We have all been brainwashed by a sophisticated mechanism. It takes a lot to whitewash history. It takes a lot to wipe out indigenous truth. It takes a lot. To wipe out biblical truth. Takes a lot to wipe out ancient truth. Takes a lot to wipe out the ancient truth. It takes a lot. This is a sophisticated brainwashing mechanism. So I'm not, a, I'm not, there's no offense to you, but I need you to know the truth. It's still in my comments every day. People, people still in my comments like, nope, the body only pees out poison. The body only pees out parasites. Get the fuck out of here. What? If the body only pees out poison and parasites, I'd be dead by now. Because I would have only been drinking poison and parasites for 10 years. Please. Please. It, when experience is talking, pontification can get the walking. When experience is talking, beliefs can get the walking. When experience is talking, opinions can get the walking. Uh, when bu- uh, yo, yo, look, when beliefs is talking, opinions can get the walking. Cause yo, I'm really talking that slow. You just smoking. You just smoking. Yo, you just smiling. Yo, you don't even know what you're talking. Uh, and when experience is talking, yo, you could get the walking. Cause, alright. <laughs> Please. Billions of dollars are spent nearly, uh, nearly, yearly, sorry, I said nearly. Billions of dollars are spent yearly on research to find remedies, yet the number of patients suffering from cancer, diabetes, and heart disease continues to increase significantly. Meanwhile, researchers sat in their laboratories and watched as simple urea from urine completely destroyed rabies, poliovirus, tuberculosis, typhoid, gonorrhea, dysentery bacteria, and cancer cells, they watched as urea from urine saved the lives of cancer patients, cured and relieved asthma, eczema, whooping cough, diabetes, arthritis, and a host of other illness. The general public was never told about such discoveries, yet modern health epidemics grew. Was it... Because urine... Was it was because urine therapy, unlike surgery and drugs, cannot be patented and sold for huge profits? Was it because urine therapy, unlike surgery and drugs, cannot be patented and sold for huge profits? Believing there is a natural medicine that is free and can heal most ailments sounds totally ludicrous. Particularly if you add the fact that it has been around for thousands of years and works, it has been around as long as we've been around, buddy. And works both externally and internally. Until its curative powers have been experienced personally, utilizing urine to combat sickness may sound impossible. It may not seem popular, yet there are literally millions of people all over the world that are healthy as a result of drinking their urine daily. I'm one of them. More remarkably, there are thousands of testimonies of patients who were seriously ill, but who were miraculously healed. I'm not going to lie, I've been very unhealthy the past year, but I still do urine therapy. So even though I've gained weight, because I've been whining and dining and enjoying myself and success, like, I'm still not as toxic as I would be if I wasn't doing urine therapy. So there's a lot of people that think because I talk urine therapy, I'm super healthy or I think I'm super healthy. No, I'm toxic as fuck. I wouldn't be dead if I wasn't doing urine therapy. Lord. Lord knows. I'm an indulgent motherfucker, man. I'm not... The pristine health, whatever you build, image you build up in me in your head about me because I have a page about getting healthy. No, I'm not that. I built this because I need all this shit I talk about. All the medicine I sell, shit, I need all that shit. Sign me up. Where the fuck can I get some of that? Because <laughs> I'm not healthy. If I didn't do urine therapy, ooh, it'll be ooh, it'll be over for me. I'm not. I don't have the healthiest diet in the fucking kitchen. But I am a proponent that no matter what your diet is, you can do urine therapy. Now, that's a different mission than a lot of people. I'm telling you, it don't matter where you're at. You can tap in. 
And when the thing starts raising your vibration, you just gonna start wanting to choose better. Trust me. When you start raising, when you start just tapping with yourself, you just tapping in with yourself. This is the state of my blood. You know, and and when you have when you toxic and you eating a lot and then you drink urine and it gives you diarrhea, that's the state of your 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 digestive system. Just why would you complain? If urine gives you diarrhea, that means there's a lot in you that couldn't move. And this alkalizing, purifying agent was the only thing that can loosen up that hardened, calcified, uh, lined colon. It, it literally, if you fast on urine, it will clean the lining of your organs. It's not just about losing weight for a lot of people. A lot of people, it's about shedding weight. What do we mean? It. It's not just burning fat molecules that a lot of people need to do. They need to literally shed shit from all of the organs. And I'm telling you, urine therapy is the, the way to do it quickest. The, the, the fastest way to, to clean your lymphatic system is not by drinking the urine. It's by rubbing it into your skin. Why? Because when you drink it, it has to go through your digestive system, through your blood system, and then filter out into your lymphatic system. When you rub it into your skin, it goes directly into your lymph through your skin. The lymphatic system is right under the skin, right under it, right under when you rub it into your skin, it absorbs into your lymph and it cleans your lymph. Why does it clean your lymph? Because your lymph is the sewage system of the body. The lymph is comprised of the cell's excrement, right? So your urine is blood that has been filtered. It is clean. So when clean urine goes into the dirty lymph, it cleans the solution. When you keep doing this over time, you experience a host of benefits. The benefits can you can read about in a book called The Water of Life by a man named John Armstrong, whose protocol was not only to fast on urine, but to do daily skin rubs for the amount of at least two to three hours a day in total. Because the act of rubbing the urine on your skin is literally cleaning your lymphatic system. Fuck a diet change. Do a one, you don't have to change your diet. See, I'm, I'm, I'm radical. Oh my God, I'm a radical. Here he comes spitting radical. You don't got to change your diet. Do a one week urine fast with daily skin rubs and clean your lymphatic system the real way with urine enemas. Thank you, Jose, with the colon. Do urine enemas fast on urine and do urine skin rubs. Fuck a diet change. Let's get straight to cleaning the organs. It's going to take a while for those salads and smoothies to scrub out your colon. Sorry. Get in there yourself with your holy water and scrub it out. See? It's a different look. And for those wondering, man, if you're just getting in, I'm testing this stamina stack. Let me just stop and drop. Stop. Drop. Give me a review. Look. Look. Let me just stop, drop, give you a review of this stamina stack, bro. Look, first of all, be ready for the nice and burn. Be ready for the nice and burn. It felt good. It felt for me, because I know that it's like a form of detox, I didn't panic. I literally felt like I was in a hot tub. And that's what it feels. It's going to feel like you're in a hot tub. Don't panic. A hot tub doesn't burn. Not for real. It just feels warm. It's a flush. The nice and flush is um, familiar to anybody who takes a lot of supplements in the fitness world. You've definitely felt the nice and flush if you take a lot of different pre-workouts. It's a common ingredient, and the reason is because the nice and allows your blood-brain barrier, the, the supplements you take to cross that blood-brain barrier. I hope you're taking some high quality. Now, what this product did was make a 100 milligram psilocybin microdose feel like a 300 milligram psilocybin microdose, but. A lot different. So in this formula here, it's the Stamets stack, right? What I did was I put 100 milligrams psilocybin, 100 milligrams niacin, 100 milligrams lion's mane in one capsule. It's called PS I Love You. PS stands for Paul Stamets. This is the Paul Stamets stack. I took one capsule with a dose of Sheila Jit, and I'm glad I didn't choose to take two. I wouldn't have been able to do this live. One capsule was perfect for me. And... Wow, I, I don't want to do the, the frequency that Paul Stamets recommended. I want to do it every other day. He, he recommended four days on, three days off. But as you know, 
cut the pie how you want it. We're still doing it four times a week. Same thing. I'm just going to do it every other day, though. But I find it to be very productive. I, I think I gave a really good live today. Uh, let me see where we're at with the time. We're at the 50 minute mark. Ah, oh, goodness. I'm sorry to. I'm sorry to end it like this, but type your name if you want to win a hundred dollar gift card. Type your name if you want to win a hundred dollar gift card to the link in my bio. We're gonna give out this hundred dollar gift card. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me this morning. Thank you for all the support, yo. We've been hit. I don't know what the fuck happened. Somebody got paid. Y'all got paid or something? Because y'all been tapping in with the store. We busy as fuck. We've got about 50 orders to pack right now. So I just, I'm, I'm grateful. Thank you for the support. We're selling out, though. LSD is, is basically sold out. We're going to have another one in a couple weeks. <sighs> Appreciate the support, man. Y'all, y'all, we are very much grateful. All right. We're doing really good. Somebody gave us a shout out. I don't know, it was so, some, somebody with a big fitness page gave us a shout out, um, and a lot of orders just came in, you know, like, automatically, like, they're like, oh, I need that, oh, I heard you got the honey, I heard you got the honey, I heard you got the honey, oh, I need the honey, I told you, see, somebody gonna hit it, somebody shouted me out on the honey, we got a whole bunch of orders for no reason, I told you, that's the internet, you know how the internet works, we're on the internet, this ain't no... Pfft. The book title is called um, The End of Disease by Tony Scazzaro. It's two Z's. Tony Scazzaro. Uh, let me see. All right, we got Frito, Tatiana, Derek. Oh, okay. Derek, I'm, I'm going to replace Frito with Derek. Okay. All right, all right, Josito. Okay, Janet, what's up? Abel, what's up, man? All right, the winner of this is going to win a hundred dollar gift card, thousand dollar minimum. No, I'm kidding, zero dollar minimum. Um, gave out your honey for my three fifteen B day. Oh, happy birthday! Happy B day! All right, somebody about to win a hundred dollar gift card out the door. I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you. Mm, this gift card is a one-time use. Ooh, look at look at that. Wow. Well, you gave out my honey. You just got a honey, honey dollar gift card. She gave out my honey, and she won a honey dollar gift card. See, it really do be like that. The universe really be like that. The universe really be like that. She gave out the honey. She won a honey dollar gift card, bro. You give out the honey. You win a honey. That's how it is. Because that honey is... That honey on the money. Give out the honey. You win that, that money. Because that honey is on the money. Ooh. Hey. Yo, that's how it works. Instant karma. Instant karma today for Janet. Janet, I am DMing you your discount code right now. Oh, I think, hold on, let me, let me double check the discount code. Let me make sure it's good. Huh. All right, you know what? We're just going to try it. If it doesn't work, let me know. All right, that's how, that's how we're going to find out if it's good or not. That's how we're going to find out if it's good or not, okay? I'm just going to send it to you. Let me know if it don't work. How about that? How about that? All right. Yep, that's how it goes. Instant karma over here. Uh, appreciate you, you guys uh, hanging out with me this morning. It's been a wonderful time. Uh, a dream come true, really, this, this, play, this uh, platform is for me. Healing Oasis. Finding your page. Sending you your discount code. Okay. Let me know if it doesn't work. All right. Okay. All right. Well, 
enjoy your gift card. Uh, appreciate you guys. Um, let me jump on and make a purchase of these goodies. Um, oh, appreciate that. Appreciate that. If you want to show some support, I appreciate you, man. Hey, it's all love. Um, you guys have been supporting bigly. I can't complain. Yo, hey, it's what's it like when you get over the hump? You know, you hustling, you hustling, and then you got some momentum. That's how the internet works, man. You know, you know the products is gonna get out and get another wave of and we're gonna get to another level of activity and hey, it's it's just been nothing but growth, man. Uh, uh at a certain point, you know, and this is what happens. This is why we're growing. At a certain point, the psychedelics stop calling you, and then you start using them to help others. I don't have an, a way to reward you guys who have become more affiliated with me and send more people than you do buy. I need to come out with the affiliate. I just, I'm guilt. I feel scared, you know? It's like, I don't want to... <laughs> what the fuck does that look like? Oh, I got an affiliate team of this shit? Like, that doesn't... That feels risky, okay, to have that. Eh. But I do want to find some way to, you know, to do that. Maybe, I don't know. We'll put a pin in it. We'll put a pin in it, guys. Okay? I don't want to get a Rico act. No, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. No fear. But, um, I appreciate y'all hanging out. Let me have some more tea real quick. Ask me any questions you got before I get out of here. We actually got a lot of shipping. I showed you guys what we're shipping. It's all going out today. We got a lot going out today, man. I appreciate you hanging out. We got a lot of work to do today, man. I appreciate that. Let's go. Ask me a question or something. Ask me a question if you got it. You know, if you take a microdose and you, you ever get nauseous, just know that that's kind of like normal in a body that's slightly off balance. In a body that's slightly under oxygenated or under hydrated or undernourished, when you do a microdose, you start feeling nauseated, right? Because because if you've been detoxing, a microdose feels like just another breath of fresh air, honestly. It's, but the reason you feel detox symptoms when you take a microdose is because there is one, there is a detox happening. But two, it is connecting you with what's already there. See, because I feel this, oh my God, I need to take deeper breaths. That's because I've been living in a low oxygen state. The microdose is just making me aware of that. All right? Everybody take accountability. Because the reason you feel low oxygen or dehydrated or what have you is because you live in that state and now you're hypersensitive to that. So now you start taking deeper breaths. Now you start hydrating. And for me, because I, because I, this is not my first trip around the rodeo, say my first rodeo, I know that when I've done a significant amount of detox, psychedelics just bring me deeper into the peace that I'm already connected to. So there's nothing surprising about it. There's nothing uh, violent about psychedelic trips when the body is clean. It's much more gentle. The reason it feels violent when we have these patterns of eating a lot of fast food or drinking a lot of alcohol is because we remain disconnected and then to connect quickly to a body that's filled with toxins doesn't feel good. That's no reflection on the psychedelic. See, that's a reflection on your terrain, buddy. Quit thinking it's the medicine, bro. Quit blaming the medicine because I'm not going to blame the medicine. You shouldn't blame the medicine either. The medicine is doing exactly what it should be doing. Is waking you up to the toxic environment that you may be harboring. Which is why whenever somebody says, oh my god, I think your stuff is bad. I always wait till the next day and then I let them tell me why is it bad? What kind of experience did you have? Because a certain percentage of you guys blame the medicine when you have a bad trip. And I wait until the next day and I tell you to describe me how your experience went. Because it sounded... Sounded perfectly normal. Sounded perfect. I'll, uh, <laughs> uh, to this to this day, I well, okay. I had one time I had to actually send a replacement because maybe the lion's mane wasn't the best source of lion's mane, and I and, and I think something happened there. 
But the rest of the times, bro, it's a bad trip because the environment is toxic. The energy is... A lot of times, there was a lot more than, like, oh, I was fighting a case. Oh, uh, child support. Like, there's a lot going on there that you... Or, or health reasons of why the trip would go bad other than, oh, this medicine's toxic. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, um, I said all that to say that, uh, feeling nauseous or any kind of thing like that, it's always going to go back to your breath work. Remember that your heart rate is always under your control. The thing that gets out of your control are your breath patterns. When you let your breath patterns go out of your control, then your heart rate's out of your control, and then now it's whatever. But once you control your breath, if you can lower your breaths per minute, just think about it. It's simple. Lower your breaths per minute. There's many techniques at, at lowering breaths per minute. Choose one. I don't fuck. I don't care what technique you choose. Choose a way to lower your BPM, your breaths per minute, because now you're going to lower your BPM, your beats per minute. The heart is not the pump, it's the valve. The lungs are what's pumping. <laughs> Congratulations to Janet for um, winning the 100 gift card. Um, appreciate y'all all the support, man. All right. Okay, no, other, no further questions. Okay. Your Honor, no further questions, Your Honor. All right. Okay. 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 Yeah. And now we out, uh, and now we out, let me, let me show you what I'm all about, before I, before I take it out, uh, uh, right now I got the lyrics, lyrics, um, it fills me with the spirit, yo, I'm grateful for all of your support, let me tell you, it's been nothing short, we are out here still breaking records, 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 I'm talking about... I'm talking about the sales, and every time a month passes, I'm doing well. Sometimes I still worry about paying rent, but that's only my trauma speaking, because we get it. Whew, yeah, everything I can is everything I'm doing. Uh, everything I thought I can't is everything I'm doing, and, and now I can't stand. And now I really stand, and now I understand, and now I understand, and now I... <laughs> Hey, man, you know, there's something about creating your own mixtures, man. I, I, I highly recommend start to create your own mixtures. Take whatever you like to do. Make your own mix of it, man. Make your own mixes. That's all. That's all I've done. That's all we doing. Hey, whatever you like to do, make your own mixtures. <laughs> what up, bro? What's up, bro? Yo, let me ask you a question. What? You look twelve years younger, man. You look like a twelve-year-old boy. What? What's going on down there in Florida with you? What? What's happening? You, you shaved your mustache I or something? Shave. I, all I did was shave. My girl just wanted me to shave, so when I when I eat her out. It's all good. No, I'm kidding. I'm playing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, but yeah, I did shave. <laughs> you, you look, you look young as shit, man. I appreciate that. I don't feel young. I, I'm, I'm, I gained about 15 pounds of happy relationship weight. If you haven't noticed, but it's okay. You know, it's all, it's all down there. So it's okay. You I don't see it. it on the camera. I got to come down there and get you back in shape, man. I like that. Let's go. Or you know, or I can go spend about two months in your hot your uh, sauna. In the sauna. So I want to let you know I am working on a grand event. A grand event. I'm talking to a space up here. It may be a problem. They 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 have a limit of two hundred people that can sleep there overnight. I want to see if I can up it to like five hundred because I think it's gonna be at least five hundred people camping. It's going to be a magnificent event with uh, a musical event, uh, with bands. I'm going to have Illuminati Congo there. I'm going to have Chris Dyer there, Black Airbender, you, the crew from all around the country 
coming in to uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We're gonna have we're gonna have special events at the Rock VIP events, and then the big events right up the road. That's what I'm working on. I'm on a call. To, is this connected to the, uh, your buddy that is doing that event there that that lives in your neighborhood? It's sim land? similar. Okay. It's similar. So he has Myco Fest, which is a mushroom and music festival. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be more. It's really just going to be a party for us and it's our crew. Okay. You know what I mean? Very wonderful. That's what I'm trying to do. Is just have us all come together and then tie it in with some, with some badass uh, musical uh, entertainers, and then and then try to do. Well, I'm, I'll have the dates here coming up. Here, I'm going to be. I'm going to figure it all out here this week and see if it's possible. Nice. Okay. Great. And of course, you're a headliner. You're like you're like the star of the show. You know, you're. You're the diva of the show. Mm. Yes. I will stand there. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Yes. I, uh, yeah, so give me those dates so I know what to uh, what to train for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll do that. And I'm on my way to Philly right now to a convention <laughs> for packaging so we can box our products in better ways. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, the, it's the biggest... Uh, I've been on the East Coast, so I'm going to have some more uh, solutions for us and all of our packaging for Shilajit and all your wonderful uh, materials that you're putting out, which are fantastic, by the way. Yeah, many, many new products, many new things. I'm ex I'm testing one right now as we speak. I'm experiencing what we call the niacin flush. Many people have been telling me to mix niacin with my microdoses for many years, and I finally did it, and I finally know. I finally realize what it is, and oh, my God. It brought the 100 milligram microdose so much farther. Holy shit. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so now I'm a believer and because I've experienced it, so now I'm all about it. So I can't wait to get as many people as possible on this new product. It's called P.S. I Love You. Uh, let me send some to you, Ron. I'll, I'll get to this. This is These are, man, these are some love capsules. I, I felt like I was in a hot tub for a second. Have you ever felt the nice and flush? Have you ever felt it? No, I, I, I can't wait to get that product. People supplement with niacin because it makes you like get this flush that they call is they call it very detoxifying. Like the people who in the know, they know it as something that's good for you. There's a there's a conspiracy theory that's oh that's toxic, it's bad, but it's like nah. This flush and this it, it, it and this reddening that happens, your skin is detoxing. And and uh, Paul Stamets, the guy who came out with this stack, is known, quoted for saying, like, well, what's happening during the niacin flush is also is your blood-brain barrier is open. And so when you take it with psilocybin and lion's mane, it goes direct to your brain. And now I, I swear I know what they're talking about because I just – I took it an hour ago and I just gave the best live. I was so active and focused and, and it's literally the it's, – it's the, it's the one. It, this is like – yeah, it is an amazing combination, so, and 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 it and it made a one or usually a hundred milligram. I don't really feel it, but this one it felt like, whoo, it was crazy. It was a wild ride. Say, I see. Hannah just said she took five hundred milligrams once. That's freaking awesome. Can you send me that out immediately? I, I need that in my life. I'll, I'm sending you that. And you know what? I'm sending you that immediately. I'm sending that out. All right. I'm gonna make you know what? I'm gonna make a fresh batch just for you, and I'm gonna put all my love into it. I'm gonna put all my love <laughs> juice into it. I love, love it. Fresh batch. And okay. I'm going to Belize in late April to a, the biggest soursop farm in in Central America that my buddy owns, and we are gonna have access to the finest young soursop leaves really in the world. Wow. They're incredible. They're they're so healing and. Uh, I'm going to uh, ship you out some of those when I get there as well. Awesome. Great. Yeah, I heard those heal cancer too. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's incredible product. So, uh, yeah, Hannah, you can jump on my suitcase for sure. <laughs> I always love. That's, hey, that's <laughs> my spot. <laughs> that's normally the yeah, reserve for Gerald, but you can take it on this trip. <laughs> well, All right, go do your thing. I think we're the same height, but yeah. All right. Much love. All I'll right. catch you soon. I'll hit you up when I get back from right. uh, Philly. All right. Peace. Peace out. Um, for those that are not familiar with the niacin burn, I experienced the entirety of it on this live. That is to say that when we started this live, I didn't it didn't kick in yet.
it kicked in during the live. I started rapping as soon as it kicked in. I started feeling like I was in a hot tub. Um, it felt really good. I'll just say, how many can you fit? <laughs> All right. All right. Enough with you guys. But uh, but I will say that one capsule is all you need. I, I do not because because there's 100 milligrams of niacin already in there. The combination of the three. Oh, my God. I can't even begin to tell you. You do not need more than one capsule. The common like you really feel the combination of the psilocybin, lion's mane and niacin. Why would you need more when all three of them are working together to provide one experience? Okay, you would need more if you're a higher body mass. Okay, I get it. That's probably the only reason why you would need to take two, which is why on the wrapper it says dosage one to two caps, frequency four times per week. You can find PS I Love You at the link in my bio. It is the link Order Hidden Health Supplements. I appreciate your support. Appreciate your, your support. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. This is my first time taking uh, niacin with a microdose. Um, and we did it all on live. And I produced this dynamite of a live stream. I don't know if you were here the whole time. But this live stream was, was pure money. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It was, it, was, it was a good hour. It was a good hour. I've had better. <laughs> I've had better. <laughs> You're gonna tell me you've had better. I've had better, okay? Y'all, I've had better. I've had better. I'm not, no, no offense to you. I've had better. <laughs> this live was great. I've had better. Sorry, Ron. <laughs> Sorry, Ron. I've had better. y'all man you know what i still haven't tested the hippie flip i'm afraid I, i'm not gonna test I, i'm just microdose i'm not gonna test the hippie flip for a while this is psilocybin and molly i'm i'm probably not gonna test it until i go to like a fucking festival but y'all could buy it y'all could buy it you can go ahead and buy it you could buy it y'all can send it to you and you could try it and after that it could make you do a diet and you could do a diet and you could apply it. And if you apply it and you could try it, then you could do it and you could. All right. And I could provide it. Look, uh, toast to the real ones. You stay till the end, yo. Y'all are the real ones. Let me, let me give you the business. Can I get a witness to this limitless capsule that I just popped an hour ago? And now I feel like, yo, from head to toe, energetic, no regrets, and yo, there I said it, spiritualist, but physical like a, still aesthetic, uh, look, forget I said it, about to go dope to this instrumental, no regrets, and about to give you all the product, you know how we do it, man, I'm just like a, alright, I'm done. <laughs>